magandang umaga po ulit sa ating lahat so ngayon nga pong araw nito ay ang ating tatalakayin ay kung paano mag solve ng real life situation gamit ang linear systems okay so solutions of systems of linear equation into variables in real life situations okay so before we proceed to our lesson don't forget to like our video and subscribe our youtube channel and click the notification bell okay so there are problems real life situations that can be solved using systems of equations so for example the admission p at a small fair is 15 pesos for children and 40 pesos for adults on a certain day 2200 people enter the fair and 50,000 500 pesos is collected how many children and how many adults attended so we are looking for the number of children and adults attended so let x be the number of adults and y the number of children so therefore we have 40x amount generated from adults and 15y amount generated from children so our first equation is x plus y equals 2200 which is the number of adults and children then equation 2 is 40x plus 15y equals 50,500 which is the amount collected so use the substitution so substitution po yung ating ginamit so, y is equal to negative x plus 200, 2,200. Substitute to the equation 2. So, we have 40x plus 15y equals 50,500. 50, so, we have now 40x plus 15 times the quantity of negative x plus 2200 which is the value of y okay equals 50500 so we have now 40x minus 15x plus 33000 equals 50500 so we have 25x from the difference of 40x and 15x equals 50500 equal minus 33,000 so transposition so we have 25x equals 17,500 so the value of x now is 700 and that is the number of adults substitute the value of x to any of the equation so, so first equation natin siya ginamit so the value of y is 1,500 so therefore, 1,500 naman yung ating children, okay? Therefore, so 700 adults and 1,500 ang children. So using the checking, so x plus y is equal to 2,200, okay? So both sides are equal, same as dun sa ating second equation, okay? So, madali lang, ano, di ba? So, let us have another example. Let's have another example. Okay. So, yung po siya, yung checking. Right? Then, another example. So, let us answer the problem and let us show the solution the difference of two numbers is 9 and their sum is uh, 37 what are the numbers so let us say that x is the number then y is the other number ok 
Okay. So, yun. X is the number. And then, Y is the other number. So, from the given statement that the difference of the, the two numbers are is 9. Okay. So, X minus 9 or X minus Y. X minus Y is equal to 9. And there's some daw I 37. So, X plus Y is equal to 37. Okay, so, ganito na lang po yun. Ano na ha? Okay? Then, so, ito na yung ating equation. Let us use now the elimination method. Let us add the two equations. So, we have 2x, then cancel na to, then we have 46. Okay? Then, divide both sides by 2. So, cancel. x is equal to 23. Okay? Then, let us use the first uh, equation to get the value of y. Okay? So, this is 23. Then, how about the other number? So, we have uh, x minus y equals 9. So, x are 23. 23 minus y is equal to 9. So, we have negative y is equal to 9 minus 23. So, we have negative y is equal to negative 14. And the value of y is now positive 14. Multiply both sides by negative 1. Okay. To eliminate the negative sign. Okay. So, therefore, 14 yung ating other number. Then, to check, let us use the second equation. So, the first equation, uh, the, the first number is 23 added to 14 and that is 37. Okay. 37. So, both sides are equal to 37. So, therefore, our numbers are correct. Okay? So, let us have uh, another example. Second example is all about the perimeter. So the perimeter of a rectangle, rectangular picture is 86. Kapag sinabi natin perimeter, ito ay yung rectangle siya. So 2L plus 2W, that is the perimeter. Okay? Then twice the width exceeds uh, twice the width exceeds the length by 2 cm. So, what are the dimensions of the picture? Okay. So, sabi dito, twice the width exceeds the length by 2 cm. So, therefore, length is equal to 2W plus 2. Okay? Yun yung ating length. Okay? Yung ating second equation. Okay? So, once again, so, ito po yung ating magiging solution. So, once again, yung ating nga palang ano ay 86. So, so, 86 is equal to 2L plus 2W. Then, we have L is equal to 2W plus 2. Okay? So, ito na po yung ating equation. Okay? Then, therefore, 
to solve for w so yun ito yung length natin so 86 is equal to 2 times substitution tayo ha substitution ang atin pong gagamitin substitution method okay so the value of l is 2w plus 2 plus 2w okay so therefore we have now 86 is equal to 4w plus 4 plus 2w okay then 86 minus 4 transposition equals 6w okay then atin na po natin uh, using the reflexive property so we have 6w is equal to 82 82 diba 6w then divide both sides by i by 6 by 6 so w is equal to we have so cancel na to 82 divided by 6 so we have uh, 1 then 22 22 div uh, let's say Gawin mo natin nga na Divisible by 2 So magiging 41 over 3 Okay yeah. Or We have So 1, 11 Magiging 9 So 13 and 2 30 Okay So 39 plus 2 41 Okay So 13 and 2 30 Ito yung ating with how about the length to get the length uh, we have 2 times 41 over 3 plus 2 so L is equal to we have 82 over 3 plus 2 or we have now, so 6 na magiging 6 to, plus 82, so 88 over 3. So, ito yung ating length. Ito yung ating width na. Okay. Then, sabi doon sa first equation, 86 daw. So, 2 times, so mag-erase na tayo erase na natin to sabi dito ay 86 is equal to 2 times the value of length so 88 over 3 plus 2 times the value of width 41 over 3 okay so 86 is equal to 2 times 88 is so what is 2 times 88 we have 176 over 3 all right plus 82 over 3 Excuse me. Then, 86 is equal to, so, ating i-add na siya, we have 8, mga ba? So, 8 and uh, we have 258 over 3. Then, 258 divided by 3. Okay? So, we have 8, so 24 and then 1 so 18 so 6 tama and then 18 so therefore both sides are equal to 86 okay so yun po once again ang ating width ay 41 over 3 and then yung ating length ay 88 over 3 okay.
So, ganun lang po yun. Ito po. So, let us have another example. So, yung ating next example, halos kagaya na nung ating ginawa kanina. Na na doon po sa SLM. Doon po sa ating self-learning module. So, that mission P at the math fair is 20 pesos for children and 50 pesos for adults. So, the first equation we can say that is 20x plus 50y. Okay? On adult, on a certain day, 270 70 people enter the fair and the uh, we have 9,000 is collected. So, how many children and adults attended? So, once again, yung ating pong X ay children. Then, yung ating Y ay adults. So, 20X plus 50Y is equal to 9,000. And then we have x plus y is equal to 270. So, ito po yung ating solution. Okay? So, ang gawin po natin, pwede elimination, pwede ring substitution. Ano ha? So, it's up to you kung ano po yung gagamitin nyo. So, pa, dito, para sa akin, gamitin na po natin yung substitution. Kasi po, mas madali kasi ma ang value ng x, ang numerical coefficient ng x and y ay 1. Okay? So, solve for x tayo. So, x is equal to 270 minus y. Okay? 270 minus Okay, so we have 20x plus 50y is equal to 9,000. So 20x, the value of x is 270 minus y plus 50y equals 9,000. Okay, so therefore 20 times 270 is we have 54 or 5,400 minus 20y plus 50y equals 9,000 okay then we have now 30y 20y at saka 50y equals 9,000 minus 5,400 okay so, we have now 30y is equal to 600 and then ito yung magiging 8 so 3,600 okay 3,600 so therefore divide both sides by 30y is equal to ano na po magiging sagot so we have 100 20. So, the value of y is 120. Na, number of adults. How about the number of uh, children? So, x is equal to 270 minus 120. So, x is equal to 150. So, 150 naman yung ating children. Then, to check, so, 20 times the value of x, 150 plus 50 times the value of y, 120 equals 9,000. Okay, 9,000. 
Then we have now 300 at uh, 3000. Okay. Last we have 6000. And both sides are equal to 9000. So tama po yung ating solution set. Okay? The number of children and adults. Okay? So, ganun lang po siya kadali. Kung paano mag-solve ng systems of linear equation in a real life situation. So, muli po. Maraming salamat. Sana po nakatulong itong aking video tutorial in how to solve real life situation using systems of linear equations so muli po don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and click the notification bell